Hi, I'm Andy Ginther. Over seven years ago, we started our journey to ensure that babies in Columbus and Franklin County made it to their first birthdays and beyond, regardless of race, income, or neighborhood. Today, you'll hear more about the work of Celebrate One during this past year and what your efforts and support have meant to our community. We know that more babies are thriving in Columbus and Franklin County because of your support. This year alone, we've assisted nearly 4,000 moms through our connector core and navigators, distributed over 1,000 cribs to those without the means to provide a safe sleep environment for their newborn, and trained hundreds to become safe sleep ambassadors. These are just some of the ways your involvement and donations are making an impact. As I shared over the summer, we've reduced infant mortality in Franklin County by 28% and lowered the infant mortality rate in Celebrate One priority neighborhoods by 20%. Sleep-related deaths decreased throughout 2020 as well. At the same time, the pandemic further illuminated the pressing need to address those disparities that continue to persist. Black babies die at a much greater rate and in 2021, our data shows that while we've experienced more infant deaths this year, your support will be instrumental in helping us serve moms and families in our community. Our dedicated staff at Celebrate One and Columbus Public Health work every day to connect pregnant moms, families, and infants to resources so they can lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Let's hear more from Celebrate One Executive Director Maureen Stapleton on how we're making an impact. Hi, my name is Maureen Stapleton, and I am proud to serve as the Celebrate One Executive Director. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly magnified the health disparities in our community. While we have made progress in infant mortality as a city and a county, we know that the pandemic has affected the progress of our entire community. Black babies are still three times more likely than white babies to die before their first birthday. While COVID has taken its toll on infant mortality, we know that not having adequate housing, food, employment, and access to advanced skills and education to get decent jobs is affecting moms and families throughout Franklin County. We call these the social determinants of health and Celebrate One works with our partners regularly on these issues. Columbus Public Health's long-standing partnership with Celebrate One supports housing, home visiting, breastfeeding support, and they provide cribs, car seats, and safe sleep education to address preventable deaths and the social determinants of health. Because of the generous donations and support in the past years, we developed Healthy Beginnings at Home, a pilot program that provided housing for pregnant women to improve birth outcomes. Healthy Beginnings at Home emerged as policymakers across the state of Ohio were grappling with the alarming rates of infant mortality for black families. There was a growing consensus about the role that social determinants of health played. State policymakers in the legislature and administration began questioning the role that the lack of affordable housing was playing. The preliminary findings of Healthy Beginnings at Home have policy implications for local, state, and federal elected officials, policymakers in the healthcare systems, managed care organizations, maternal child services, and housing providers. We are leading the way with the statewide partnership to help with this effort. We could not have done this without the partners you see on the screen. This is yet another example of the Columbus Way. Additionally, in recent years, there has been an awakening to the understanding that racism and disparate treatment in healthcare impacts birth outcomes. The leadership of the City of Columbus and Franklin County have declared racism as a public health crisis. The debilitating long-term effects of implicit bias and discrimination is the reason the health of black and brown mothers and families is one of our top priorities. All of our hospital systems are locking arms with us on this critical issue and working to educate the next generation of service providers and making systemic changes to ensure that all families receive the level of care they deserve. 
Throughout 2021, our dedicated team of connectors and neighborhood integration managers have stepped up to ensure there were no gaps in providing much needed resources to our families. We continue to provide cribs, safe sleep training, education, and even moral support for moms and dads during their pregnancy journey. Columbus has a very high infant mortality rate. Without Celebrate One, we would not be able to curb that, that statistic. Uh, we focus on targeted neighborhoods. We go door to door, we knock on these doors, and we try to connect with those parents in a face-to-face -face situation. And with our services, we're able to not only service baby, we're able to service mom and dad, we're able to connect them to housing, the code enforcement, refuse, to keep our neighborhoods clean, because if the neighborhoods are clean, then the kids have a safe place to play and a safe route to walk to school. So it all plays into one big pot. Getting into this, I did not want young fathers like myself to be at a disadvantage. I wanted them to have the knowledge to be able to make bottles, change diapers. I was blessed with the opportunity of having a father who was involved in my life who taught me, you know, hey, make sure you're there from day one and, and be a dad. When we see Celebrate One, a lot of people think mom. But statistically, when father is in, my, in baby and mom's life, mom has a higher chance of, of a successful pregnancy and baby has a better chance of, of seeing the age of one. I was out on the west side doing some work. Um, you know, going into our non-traditional um, areas, our corner stores, our gas stations. And um, I was hanging out flyers, yard signs, and I got a call one day from a dad. And he said, um, your flyer says that you help moms. However, I'm a dad. He said, I, my son was born in February. I have full custody. I live with my mom. She's helping me, but she works as well. And he said, I need help. Do you help dads? And um, I was like, wow, I'm new. I'm like, well, do we? You know? So um, I um, immediately jumped into looking for some resources for him. Um, I linked him to the Father um, Factor program. They called him immediately. He called me back a day later. He said, I don't know who you are. He said, but I am so grateful for you. He said, the program called me back and they're helping me. And that kind of stuck with me and gave me another outlook as to say, we need to help our dads too. Our dads are a major factor in families, whether they are in the home or not, they need to be that role in that child's life and we need to make dad healthy to be able to parent as well. Parents need a list of anything from formula to diapers, car seats, sleep safe trainings, you name it. Anything that involves a baby, we, got, we, we have connections to it. Our connectors and neighborhood integration managers are the backbone of our organization, and their work is how we remain connected with literal boots on the ground in our community with canvassing, diaper drives, car seat checks, and the list goes on and on. Since August, Connectors have met more than 300 moms and families each month through traditional outreach, referrals, canvassing, and social media campaigns. I extend my sincere thanks to all of the Connectors and Neighborhood Integration Managers working to reduce infant mortality in Columbus every day. Their work is complemented by a tremendous support from our lead entities and coalition partners. Our work is multiplied and enhanced by the partnership and joint initiatives that we participate in with them. We utilize our collective power and connections, and we are able to serve people on a greater level. I want to send a special thank you to all of our lead entities that help drive infant mortality rates down with their work and our dedicated coalition partners who attend our regular meetings and continue to support the work of Celebrate One. Next, we'd like to highlight two significant partners that we've had the pleasure of working with this year, the YMCA and the Little Bottoms Free Store on the west side of Columbus. Both organizations have provided countless hours of support and manpower, donated thousands of baby items, diapers, and wipes, and are both active participants in our special event tabling opportunities. So Little Bottoms Free Store is a ministry of Central City Church. Just seeing the ways in which 
Little Bottoms is creating um, really dignifying community to our families this is really what stood out to me and really what made me motivated to want to be a part of this work. I think what's unique about Little Bottoms partnership with Celebrate One is that we've really been partnering since even before our formal launch. So in 2017, we collaborated to do a community baby shower. Um, and this was even before we launched uh, Little Bottoms Free Store. And as we began to kind of do more and more work like this in the community and see more and more need, we said, you know what, we need something that's more established and long term to continue to meet the needs of the families in this area. So Little Bottoms launched in March 2019. And then of course, exactly a year later, uh, we found ourselves in the throes of a pandemic and um, I believe September was when we finally kind of opened back up again and started welcoming people back into the building. And so it's been really rewarding to open back up and let families actually come in and look at the outfits and choose something for their, their children. Um, and so we're hoping that in the future we'll actually be able to open our kids play area again that we had and really let the families just visit with one another because we really do believe those community building aspects are really is what's going to shift and make real social change um, and confront uh, infant mortality in a, in a really um, important way. If it wasn't for Little Bottoms and Celebrate One, I think the families would be going to other free stores where there's huge numbers, less product actually for them to get for their kids, and here they can feel more like they're a person here and not just a number. I'm really grateful for the investment that the city of Columbus and that Mayor Ginther has made in confronting infant mortality through Celebrate One. There's nothing like it. <laughs> um, it really is a network of support um, and investment in our communities that we've needed for a long time. And I can see the impact that's making. We're seeing the impact on the numbers of infant mortality starting to tick down finally. And that was that's important, that's something that I don't think that we could have done without Celebrate One. We extend our heartfelt thanks to the YMCA and Little Bottoms. I wish we had time to highlight all of our coalition members. Back in May, we hosted a community drive-in at Easton Town Center in an attempt to attract new families into the Celebrate One network. We served 85 families that night with family-friendly movies, snacks, and a special gift for moms thanks to Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, as well as food grocery boxes thanks to our partnership with Farmers to Families. All of those families were connected with community health workers too. The whole summer was full of special events. We have also held community baby showers on the Near East Side, the Southeast Side, and the Linden area. I want to give a special thanks to the Mother's Cove, First Church of God, and the Linden Recreation Center, who donated their land for us to host these showers. Through these showers, we served nearly 500 pregnant women and parenting moms and dads, making sure that they had supplies for their newborns, as well as a chance to connect with community providers who signed families up on the spot for connections to invaluable services and support. We ended our event season with a community's first birthday on the park at Dorian Green, Kosai's front lawn. Smash cake photos, costume characters, arts and crafts, and so much more. New this event season, safe sleep trainings conducted at events, which really broadened our outreach and helped us reach our goal of training over 700 safe sleep ambassadors this year. Anything we can do to expose people to the ABCs of safe sleep, we will do it. It was a wonderful, festive atmosphere. And as I said that day, we live and work to celebrate one. We had a mom, she was so overwhelmed. She was like, I don't even know, the straps ain't right, they don't fit. She just had the baby sitting in the seat. So those things are important when we're at these events because we're, we're, we got boots to the ground and we are serving. And we, when we see a mom in need, we're there to help. Seeing all those pregnant moms at the baby showers with their partners and families was really amazing. Everyone came away with gifts and supplies for their babies. And I'm really proud of our team for supporting these families and connecting them with needed resources. As we move out of 2021, I'm looking forward to how we will continue to work 
to move the needle in infant mortality and to find creative, new, innovative ways to address the impact of a 100-year pandemic. We are trying new things, like our Maternity Podcast, sharing resources and information on how to combat infant mortality. We will continue to engage our moms and dads on our social media pages and through our website. We will continue to innovate and increase our outreach through community events. Our five-year strategic plan, what I call Celebrate One 2.0, will position us to fundamentally impact the health of moms and babies. Keeping our foot on the gas is imperative if we are going to keep the trajectory of our progress moving in the right direction. We need your continued support to keep this momentum going. We thank you.